Hi, welcome to NPA teaching. Today we are going to discuss the concept of differentiation. Differentiation is a process of finding the derivative of a function. It's all about finding the rate of change of one quantity compared to another. Thus the derivative is the slope of a function whether it is a linear or non-linear and represents a change in the dependent variable due to a small change in the independent variable. The concept of derivative is extensively used in economics and managerial decision making especially in solving the problems of optimization which means finding the conditions for maximum or minimum to occur such as profit maximization, cost minimization, output and revenue maximization. In economics, we are familiar with the concept of marginals like marginal revenue, marginal product, marginal cost, etc. which are the most important concepts in the microeconomics because all decisions are taken at the margin. It is nothing but addition to something while changing another variable. Through the process of differentiation or by taking the derivative, we can find the concept of marginals. Thus, differentiation is a process of finding the rate at which a variable quantity is changing. It is also concerned with the determination of the rate of change in the dependent variable for a given small change in the independent variable. Let x be an independent variable and y is the dependent variable which is depending upon x. Then y is the function of x that is y is the function of x. Let change in x be a small change in x corresponding to the change in y that is delta y. Then delta y divided by delta x which means change in y divided by change in x is called incremental ratio. The value of incremental ratio when change in x is very small is called differential coefficient or what we can say that it is a derivative of y with respect to x and which is denoted by dy by dx which is the differential coefficient or derivative. That is dy by dx which is equal to limit change in y divided by change in x where change in x approaches to 0. So dy by dx implies that the derivative of y with respect to x. The derivative of a function can be written in many different ways. If y is equal to f of x, the derivative can be expressed as dy dx or f prime x or y prime or df dx or d dx f of x or dx f of x. So you can express the derivative of a function in these different ways. For example, if y is equal to 5x square plus 7x plus 12, then the derivative can be written as y prime or dy dx or d dx 5x square plus 7x plus 12 or dx into 5x square plus 7x plus 12. In these ways you can write the given function. Take this example that is if z is equal to root 8t minus 3 then the derivative can be expressed as z prime dz dt d dt root 8t minus 3 or dt into the root 8t minus 3. The basic difference between the differentiation and derivative is the differentiation is the process of getting derivative. Imagine here is the function f of x. This is the differentiation dy dx which is the process of getting derivative and the result of differentiation that is f prime x is the derivative which is the result. So the basic difference between derivative and differentiation is that differentiation is the process of getting derivative and derivative is the final result. I hope you are clear about the concept of differentiation, derivative and the notations of derivative. 
In the next video, we will discuss the rules of differentiation. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you.